two decades ago, we really celebrated the first release of a human reference genome, and that has just been transformative for human genetic and genomic research. However, we've known for the past two decades that roughly eight to 10% of our genome is incomplete or missing or misassembled. Now with new technology, we can close these remaining gaps and we can make new discoveries. The exciting work from the Telomere to Telomere Consortium, which I've co-led with Adam Fellopi and Evan Eichler, is that we've now reached a complete version of a human genome. It's called T to T, CHM13. I think many people in the field didn't expect this ever to actually happen. It is very exciting uh, that we now have a complete human genome sequence with unprecedented precision. We're now releasing to the public over 200 million bases of sequences that have never been seen before. The cells that were analyzed for came out of our tissue culture cell culture facility here at UCSC. Our chromosomes sometimes have accidents that can lead to clinical outcomes. These can happen either in cancers or they can happen early in development. And these outcomes that involve the short arms of chromosomes 13, 14, 15, 21, and 22 have been overlooked due to the lack of a reference genome. The complete sequence will allow us to study the most difficult regions of the genome that were largely ignored because how repetitive they are. And now with this reference, we can begin to look more closely at the genome to see if there's new information that can guide new discoveries. Our work is not done. We still have a path ahead that we need to work as a team to complete not only one genome, but a panel of genomes that better represent genetic and genomic diversity around the world.